that Andre the Giant, we're flying him in from New York on April, uh, September the 20th for his only appearance of the year. Andre the Giant on Tuesday, April 20th, or September 20th. Don, Don, Don. Springtime in the Rockies. This is fall in the Cascades. September 20th, Donald. September 20th, Andre the Giant. Next thing you know, he's going to think it's Memorial Day. Well, I'll tell you what, the load that man has to carry and the job and responsibility he has, and plus the ranch on top of everything else, it's a wonder he even knows what time of day it is sometimes. Yeah. Very there. extremely busy man. People taking pictures, uh, are getting ready for our main event. This is the one that Rip Oliver said that if he loses, he's going to leave. I wouldn't put too much uh, too much stock in that. Faith in uh, ousting Rip Oliver just in a six-man tag match. This man has been around here for a long time, and he's put a lot of people out of business and out of commission. And he's the mastermind behind the clan, which can now hold all the championships in the Pacific Coast. Well, think about that, folks. He's not in there to lose tonight, because if he does, goodbye. And his opponents know it, so Ripper's going to make them come to him. I really didn't think I'd see that, where uh, one team like that has got all the belts, but they've got them all. Tag team belt, championship belt. There's a side headlock. We're starting off with Henning and the Dynamite Kid. There's a flying oh. tackle by the Dynamite. Kurt Henning leaps across the Dynamite Kid. Takes another hard tackle. Dynamite headlocks him side, hip locks him, takes him over. Into a flying head since both men kick out. And Kurt beats him with a right hand. What a right hand that was. Now Henning is hot to trot. I want to, he's, he, let's get down oh, and boogie. Yeah. Well, the last time these two men, Henning was still champion. Now it's Henning of the Assassin. And the tag is made. Now, you've got two men weighing in excess of 230 pounds moving in that ring, ladies and gentlemen. That's about the size of a light pro tackle. Uh -huh. And they go, and they go, and they go, and they go. There's no downs and taking time out. And there's a reversal off an arm with us. Assassin doubles out of it. Two Whoa. arm drags. Heading back on that arm bar. Kneeling arm bar. Man, oh, man, the action. Pegs Billy Jack. In comes Billy, and Billy's going to meet the assassin with a oh. kick and a right hand to that arm. Oh, he's going to separate that arm from his shoulder. He's got that into a standing arm bar, and he's got it locked into a figure four. Billy's hand is still bandaged from that uh, accident that he suffered a couple of three weeks ago. When we advertise that we're coming to your town or city throughout the Northwest, well, yes, ladies and gentlemen, everybody you see on Portland Wrestling, We'll be there. There's a wow. the second rope rose on the arm assassin. With the exception of anybody that gets injured, which is common sense. Or if we have transportation problems like an automobile accident or a plane crash, we can't be there. And when we tell you they're going to be there, 99% of the time they are there. It's that 1% when a guy fails to show up because something has happened. We can't help those circumstances. Or if we have a situation where in Rip Oliver's case, he says he's going to leave town. And he's already and he advertised mm. a month down the road somewhere. Yeah. We can't help that either. No. The well-informed fan is the one that watches KPTV Channel 12 every Saturday evening. Portland Wrestling. You watch what's happening on the screen, and we'll give you information about what's happening throughout the Northwest. I'm sure the assassin would love to make a tag right now with anybody. That left arm of his has really been worked over. Did you notice how the assassin turned Henning around to get his body position where he wouldn't have to go too far for a tag? Oliver runs right into an arm drag by Henning. He's threatening to punch Henning, grabbing him by the hair. Well, Sandy Barr caught that. Kurt Henning's got that locked into a figure four, that standing arm bar on Rip Oliver. Oliver goes for the hair again. And Henning makes the tag with Buddy Rose, who comes in with a knee. Oh, the old atomic drop. Jack. <laughs> right into Billy Jack. Here comes the dynamite kid. 
Dynamite Kid broke that up or we'd have had the first fall. Oh, Henning and Billy Jack working over Rip Oliver. There's a whip into the rope. Oh, and a big Billy Jack elbow coming off the rope. Billy Jack going to the pin. We got a two count and just barely almost had a three. Sandy Barr's in a light scuffle with the assassin. As you can see, left hand side of your screen, Billy Jack just put a bump on a rip out of the bar, still arguing with the assassin. Now he turns around, stomped by Billy Jack on the ripper. Wish there was some way he could figure out to keep those guys in their corner. Rip Oliver's bell is being rung over in the corner of Buddy Rose, Kurt Henning, and Billy Jack. There's a whip into the ropes, and Buddy Rose went sky high for that. Now he's got both the dynamite kid and the assassin, and what? Head on collision. Oh, Cloud loves it. Oliver working on Rip Oliver. Oh, right in the midsection. Oh, well, Rose right was can. working on Rip Oliver. What did I say? Oliver can't work on Rip Oliver. Of course not. He's just beside him. Thank you very much. Okay. Oh. It is exciting. That was a little questionable, but referee Sandy Barr waves it off. These guys are doing the same thing to Oliver and the clan that Oliver and the clan had planned to do to them. They're keeping them over on their side of the ring, which is good strategy. Uh, Oliver caught Hennig with a thumb right in the rip cage. Hennigan, Hennigan, a lot of a lot of pain trying to make a tag can't get over there and Oliver applies the boot Oliver just took a tremendous pound, amount of uh, punishment look at here shoving oh. Kurt in that'll knock the wind out did you hear him yes indeed oh, dynamite's gonna explode on heading now for a little bit you're looking at probably the six of the best conditioned athletes in the Pacific Northwest right now one two and Hennig picks out. Dynamite Kid and Kurt Hennig, two of the fastest athletes anywhere in the world. The crowd chanting, we want Kurt. And Dynamite Kid got him. Trying to drive his head into that turnbuckle. Oh, Kurt Hennig. Taking a tremendous amount of punishment. Now the assassin working on Hennig. Oh, there's a tight shot of Dynamite and the, and the rest of the clan. Dynamite picking up Kurt Henning, throwing a hard chop into oh. Kurt Henning, setting him right down where you uh, generally sit. You can hear that clear up here. And Dynamite Kid in full control right now over Kurt Henning. Kurt Hennig, the former heavyweight champion, the Dynamite Kid, the current heavyweight champion. As of last Wednesday in Seattle. Billy Jack and Buddy Rose looking on helplessly. I feel very frustrated over there in that corner. Their partner has been taking a tremendous amount of punishment. 